Welcome back to All Fox Racing PlayStation. This is round two, race two. We continue to be in beautiful industrial city of Zhuhai in China with the Nissan that has a lot of letters and doesn't break very well. We had quite an entertaining race in race one, won by Darren Head, followed by Diogo Silva and Simon Allen. Now we are going to go to race two and we are going to do our usual grid walk uh, with uh, now Diogo Silva on pole position followed by Darren Head so they just swap positions from the um, finish of race one. Second row is Kev Allen who had an eventful race in race one he's hoping for better things in race two followed by Dale Taylor. George Zeus and Simon Allen are on row three. Scott Davley and John Scott are on row four. Rob Burton and um, Rob Oldham, the Robs, are all on row 5, followed by Gonzalo Mota and Todd D'Antonio. We are going to go back to track sides for the start of this amazing race. We saw a lot of entertainment in race 1 and the same should happen uh, in uh, race 2 as the lights go out and it's a good... Oh, and someone immediately goes into the wall as uh, Diogo Silva is trying to protect his position because Darren had has quite a, good, a lot of... a very good start in Look at this, Diogo Silva is trying to protect the position and oh, and there is carnage there! Oh dear! There is lots of carnage. Darren Head is... Uh, Darren had lost a lot of places and so did uh, Simon Allen and Kev Allen, poor Kev Allen after such an event for race one he's uh, in last place in race two but we definitely need to establish what happened here so we are going to go on the chase camera with Kev Allen and try to ascertain what on earth has happened with all these drivers Look at this, that's a uh, Diogo Silva there is uh, really a lot on the inside and that's because Darren Head is alongside him, almost alongside him. Kev Allen is trying, well maybe Kev Allen is not the right man for us to see what happened. Let's uh, instead go with uh, George Jesus, that should, oh and George is really close to um, Simon Allen there. Um, as uh, we, oh and contact between George Jesus and, and uh, Simon Allen. Oh, George Zeus with the. Ooh, and Dale Taylor has hit Darren Head. And George Zeus hits Dale Taylor, and they all go into the gravel zone. And uh, look at that. That's, uh, let's see from Dale Taylor's perspective. I think he, it all kind of, kind of started with him. Uh, he is. Well, he's a very close spectator to the battle for the lead, but Diogo is about to take the corner. Oh, Darren just breaks and... Uh, oh, look at that, Diogo Silva almost got collected as well in this. And it seems to me very interesting to figure out what happened with Simon Allen because he was almost avoiding all of this, but not quite. Let's look at the, that... Uh, there's a bit of contact here between George and Simon and... Uh, Oh, and then Simon just lost it and gets hit by another driver. And it's just cold tires, cold brakes, a lot of inertia. And they all end up in the gravel trap. We definitely have to see the onboard from Gonçal Mota because he is in, going to be in second place. And that's a good move there. He's behind Rob Burton. He's on the inside of Rob. Uh, there is all the carnage. Oh, he also got hit uh, from uh, Rob Oldham. But... Uh, managed to recover and look at that uh, Diogo Silva who was almost getting collected as well by this is uh, is in the lead of the race Gonzalo Mota in second Rob Oldham is up to third <coughs> George Jesus up to fourth John Scott in fifth and uh, Rob Oldham has lost it Rob Oldham has lost it there he's losing a position to John Scott and maybe to Todd D'Antonio who's up into sixth place Seventh is uh, Rob Burton. Eighth is Scott Davley. Let's look at the... Oh, and Scott Davley also involved in this carnage. Oh, and oh! And uh, what happened? What on earth happened in there? I think it was the head of Scott. There was a contact between Rob Burton. Uh, I think better to go into the chase camera with uh, Rob. 
as he was he trying to go on the inside no oh it was Todd Antonio and John Scott collided oh and nowhere to go for Rob Burton as he loses a lot of time and uh, Scott Davley also involved in this uh, let's look at this from Scott's perspective oh this is uh, from uh, let's look at this from Scott's perspective as he uh, there's the collision between John Scott and uh, Todd and uh, Oh, and uh, Scott Levy right into the back of Todd Antonio. He does recover to fifth spot. <coughs> A lot of action indeed. Darren Head is also up to seventh. Uh, let's see how he uh, navigated that car that he's behind Simon Allen. And look at that, Simon Allen on one side and Darren Head on the other side. Let's go back track side and uh, look at these battles because they are absolutely brilliant. Battle for second place is also there. Gonzalo Mota followed by Jorge Jesus and Rob Oldham. Let's follow this battle for some time. Look at this. Uh, Jorge Jesus very interested now and gets a better run out of the penultimate corner. And here comes Jorge Jesus. He's going to try to... Ooh, look at that. That's close racing there. George Jesus is going to try to finish lap one in second place. He's going to go on the inside. Gonzalo Mota shuts the door and uh, is going to be second in the opening lap. As uh, Look at that. There's already a very healthy advantage over fifth place man. Scott Davley, Darren Head is uh, ahead of Simon Allen. Simon lost it. Did he lose it in the last corner? It seems to me that that was the case. Yes, there you go. Simon loses momentum and here comes Darren Head recovering and he's ahead of uh, Simon Allen and behind them it's Kev Allen again in the midfield after such a strong qualifying. Simon Allen is trying to come back uh, to Darren Head but uh, didn't quite work there. Delta. Oh, Delta. Uh, D Rob Oldham has spun. Rob Oldham has spun, and uh, this is a disaster. We are trying to see where where is he? A uh, bit difficult to see what happened here. Oh, we just lo oh, it seems to me that he lost it, but he was behind George Zouch. Oh, George was trying to go on the inside of Gonzalo, and Rob just uh, was trying to go on the inside of George, and they both collide, and uh, Rob Oldham gets the worst out of it here comes scott davley into fourth then head into fifth seven hour and into sixth and it seems to me that something happened to dale taylor or was he already well we we saw what happened to dale taylor but he was just the driver that lost the most time in that gravel trap let's go back to see what's happening to the leaders this is a replay of uh uh george jesus and uh, rob oldham and rob is now well, Rob clearly could press the reset button there, but didn't, uh, uh, maybe wasn't able to press the reset button. Oh, and George is uh, well off the track now in uh, third place. Gonzalo Mota in, oh, look at that, all sorts of action happening there with, uh, uh, I think it was Darren Head losing it. And here comes Simon Allen again. Simon Allen is battling for fifth place. They are side by side, but Darren has the inside line. As Simon is going to try to take the outside line and actually manages to uh, get a lot of momentum there and uh, goes back into fifth place. <coughs> Darren Head uh, down into sixth, sixth, seventh is uh, um, Kev Allen. Nice battle here. And Darren Head clearly now is going to be trickier to battle for the win, but he's got to maximize the points opportunity it's clearly in bad days that championships are won and lost and then had is having a bad day at least in the first two laps of this race he could potentially well he certainly can still challenge for a podium never count him out then had after three wins in three races but uh, certainly um not the start that he wanted to this race now end of lap two this is a fourth place man 
Scott Davley, look at that, that's Gonçalo Mota, Jorge Jesus, Scott Davley, Simon Allen, Darren Head, Kev Allen, and behind them is Rob Burton and uh, John Scott. Look at this, Simon Allen on the inside trying to uh, say to Scott Davley that I am here at the same time defending from Darren Head, defending the inside line from potential attacks by Darren Head. Lap 3 already out of 12. Simon Allen is actually faster than Scott Davis. Look at this, Darren Head is... Uh, oh, and uh, someone in the background is spinning big time. That's Rob Burton. And this is the classic uh, turning too much. Yes, it seems to me that it's the case. There you go. He's turning left when the corner goes to the right. Let's go back to that battle because it's absolutely titanic. Simon Allen on the inside of Scott Davley now this is uh, for fourth place and Darren Head is trying to follow him didn't quite work and uh, there wasn't really like a huge gap in there and Darren Head now under pressure from Kev Allen and Kev Allen is going to go in uh, sixth spot Darren Head down to seven let's go on the onboard and uh, try to see what happened here because Darren he was trying to follow um, Simon Allen into that uh, maneuver, but look at that, he's on the inside, oh, there's sl small contact there, but enough for Darren to lose momentum, and you are going to see something yellow turning up uh, on the right-hand side, that is Kev Allen, that is up to sixth spot, oh, look at that, that's uh, Scott Davley now on the inside of Simon Allen, didn't quite work, uh, and uh, the battle continues to be very active indeed, let's go back track side. Oh, and Simon Allen just lost it. Simon Allen lost it at the exit there on his own. Or did he have some help? I don't think he had any help whatsoever. Oh, just on the curb. And then, oh, that didn't come back. Hitting the barrier very hard indeed. Uh, fortunately, no damage in old Fox Racing PlayStation. But now he's pressed the reset button. But he's behind. He's down into 10th now. He's down into 10th place. Is behind Rob Burton and Rob Oldham, both of uh, whom have had uh, off-road excursions in this particular lap. Now Scott Davley is uh, in uh, fourth place. Look at this, Darren Head is all over the place on the outside of uh, Kev Allen and he con they continue to go side by side into the straight and who is going to be ahead? Darren Head is marginally ahead there but now Kev Allen has the inside line for turn one. No, he, he has the inside line. Oh, Darren Head almost losing it. And had to give uh, Kev some space to go through as Kev Allen continues to be in the fifth place. Scott Davley maintains fourth. Look at the lead that Diogo Silva already has. Seven seconds after three laps. Oh, and, uh, and uh, Kev Allen is in the grass. Did he just lose it on his own? It seems to me that that was the case. Yes, he turns in a little bit too early and now he's in the grass and loses uh, quite a bit of momentum is he going to hold the position uh, sixth position it seems to me that he's got quite a gap over john scott john in seventh place eight is rob alden ninth is simon allen and uh, rob burton is again in the same place uh, in oh look at that he was uh, defending from simon allen simon on the inside line cleanly and then oh rob just hit him uh, by mistake and uh, then also lost a lot of momentum and ends up in the grass Dale Taylor has not recovered from 12th place so something must be happening to Dale he is normally much quicker than other drivers in front and he has not been able to recover he's still having not the race that he wanted after that incident on lap 1 He's still in 12th and last. Let's go through the field again. Diogo Silva is on his own. Look at this, 8 seconds. Second place man is not... Oh, and George Jesus has gone ahead of Gonçalo Mota. So something must have happened to Gonçalo. And this is quite significant. Let's uh, try to figure out what was the problem. And, oh, it was just Gonçalo outbreaking himself. Look at that. He is outbreaking himself. He's in the grass doesn't lose a lot of time but loses one position now crucially his maintained position ahead of uh, Scott Davley with Darren Head in fifth 
Kev Allen still in six. John Scott, Rob Oldham. Simon Allen is up into ninth. We saw that maneuver, overtaking maneuver over Rob Burton. Now Gonzalo Mota is struggling a little bit. Uh, uh, and after going off this card, certainly you can see the difference uh, with potentially some brake issues or tire issues uh, for drivers that have gone off-road. He's still in fourth place though. Uh, in third place, sorry, he goes all Mota. Fourth is Scott Davley. Fifth is uh, Darren Head. As um, things beginning to sort out a little bit, drivers trying to find their rhythm. Scott, uh, George Zush has made a mistake, small mistake. After turn one, he's almost 10 seconds behind leader Diogo Silva after four laps. Diogo Silva is running on his own, he's in another postcode already. Not making any mistakes and look at the pace, 146.9. The only driver to be in the 146s. And the Gonzalo Mata 152, that was because of that uh, uh, slight uh, off-road excursion. Still a good battle here. As uh, Oh, Darren Head is up into... Oh, is he up into fourth? Well, he is up into fourth. He went, oh, he just locked up, did he? Oh, and hit Scott Davley. And uh, he's now waiting for Scott to go through. And this allows Kev Allen to go up into fourth. Let's look at uh, Kev Allen's perspective on this incident. From the onboard, look at this. They, oh, Darren and uh, Scott just uh, make contact. And, ooh, Scott gets out of the way quite quickly. But Kev Allen says thank you very much as he is now up into fourth Scott Davley maintains fifth and sixth is now Darren Head Darren not really having the race that he wanted and uh, Scott, uh, Simon Allen has lost the position to Rob Burton let's see if we can find out what happened or if it has happened a while ago oh no it has not oh as he completely lost it under braking and he's in the grass oh he's almost he's, looks like he's parking the car and here comes Rob now on the outside and takes the position good use of the reset button that Dale Taylor is also up to 11 but Simon Hour not really having the race that he wanted George Zeus is uh, up into second place but uh, almost 10 seconds behind the leader this is Gonzalo Mota in third. Simon, uh, sorry, Cavallo now up into fourth. We are on lap five, not uh, yet at the midpoint of this race. Let's look at the battle for fourth as uh, Cavallo is trying to hold on to that position from. Scott Davley and now Darren Head is coming back at him and look at John Scott and Rob Oldham the, Ro uh, the, the uh, John and Rob are really reducing the gap and that uh, contact between Darren Head and uh, Scott Davley really has made him lo lose a lot of time another lap is complete now five laps complete the gap at the front is 9.5 look at this this is Caval and Fort 50 is uh, uh, Scott Davley, 60 is Darren Head, 70 is John Scott, and 8 is Rob Oldham. Uh, Rob Burton is up into 9th, uh, has overtaken Simon Allen. We saw that after Simon basically went straight uh, at uh, turn 3. Oh, mistake there by Scott Davley, uh, recovering from the curb. But now look at this, uh, Darren Head is again very close indeed. And this time round, maybe, just maybe, he's going to be able to make a clean pass in the same place where they tangled just a lap ago. Look at this, Darren Head is now going the long way around and he's uh, got him on the outside. Scott Davley down to sixth spot. John Scott is not far behind. Darren, uh, Scott, sorry. So now we've got Scott Davley and John Scott together. That's a lot of Scott to commentate on. Scott Davley trying to make my life easier by coming back at Darren Head at that fifth position. But I think Darren now has a bit of free air to try to open that gap. 
and try to get oh and Kafawan is uh, uh, very close to Gonzal Mota what happened to Gonzal Mota let's try to see what uh, uh, it's again in the same corner is it oh it is exactly in the same corner as uh, the last lap he's uh, oh he's oh he's almost losing it but look at this now he's lost all momentum and here comes Kev Allen with a lot of momentum and going on the outside we are on lap five he's on the outside and a lot of outside passing has been made in this car look at this uh, uh, Gonzalo Mota breaking very late indeed for how much longer will Gonzalo Mota try to hold on to that uh, podium position, Jorge Jesus, Jesus is in second place and he is comfortably in second place. Kev Allen wants the final podium position, now he's got fair momentum there in the last corner as he is trying to go on the outside of Gonzalo into turn one, he's not yet ahead of Gonzalo, Gonzalo shuts the door, now here comes Kev Allen on the inside. Gonzalo protects the line and uh, they go through turn one, still in, sec in third and fourth position. Lot of action again behind the leader, just like in race. Look at this, Cavallo is desperate to go ahead. And uh, Gonzalo is uh, trying to defend left, right and center. Look at this, Cap now has a good exit. Can he go on the outside just like there indeed to Scott Davley? A lap ago, not quite is the answer. I do apologize for this uh, small delay due to the fact that the microphone was disconnected. We haven't lost a lot of action. Uh, nevertheless, it has been an interesting battle there <coughs> between Gonzalo Mott. Look at that. Gonzalo really breaking very late indeed. But at the end of the day, he's still defending from... Kev Allen and uh, now Kev has a lot of momentum and he's got a lot of momentum there for the next corner. Gonzalo is trying to hold on to that position but uh, can't quite and Kev Allen is up into third place. Gonzalo down into fourth and Gonzalo very soon is going to have Darren Head very close to oh look at this Gonzalo really burning his tires by breaking very late almost in every corner Scott Davley still ahead of John Scott those two drivers there at the back they are sixth and seventh the most interesting battle continues to be here as another lap is complete by these two we are past the midway point of this race Jorge is in second, Caval in third, fourth is Gonzalo Mota, fifth is Darren Head, and there is a sixth place man. Look at this, uh, everyone just uh, outbreaking themselves there in turn one. We saw there at the back it was John, it was um, Rob Oldham in eighth place, and Simon Allen has recovered ninth as well from uh, Rob Burton. They keep swapping uh, between ninth and tenth, and Caval is uh, checking out now from. Gonzalo Mota who is under increasing pressure from Darren Head. Darren is trying to make the same move as he did to Scott Davley on the outside. He's coming with a lot of momentum. But oh, oh and Gonzalo Mota lost it. Gonzalo Mota lost it and oh, hits Darren Head. He hits Darren Head and now he's... Oh, and coming back to the track right into the pathway of Scott Davley. We're going to see this from... Scott's perspective and uh, understandably I think that Scott might be slightly frustrated there because Gonzalo yeah, is off the track and now he's just coming back exactly into the racing line and Scott definitely loses a lot of time there he suddenly loses the position to John Scott John is up into fifth place let's uh, see this from Darren Head's perspective 
he was almost collected by um, Gonzalo Mota. Well, maybe Matt better to actually see this from Gonzalo's perspective. There's the onboard from Gonzalo Mota. He is now defending from Darren Head. He goes into the curb and loses it. He was trying to leave space for Darren. He almost, well, he does make contact with Darren. Now he's coming back into the racing line and just gets hit by, well, Scott Levely, nowhere to go. John Scott up uh, into fifth place. Let's look at this from uh, his perspective. As, uh, look at that, that's uh, Gonzalo coming back right in the racing line and Scott Dave, uh, John Scott manages to avoid both and goes up uh, into uh, fifth place. Now, this means that, well, Kev Allen is still in third. Let's go through the field now that we are on lap eight. Diogo Silva is the leader, just in case you forgot. He's uh, 11.9 seconds ahead of George Jesus. <coughs> oh, George is in the grass now. Oh no, that was just an optical illusion. I'm sorry. George is uh, alive and kicking and he's in uh, second place. Third is Kev Allen. Now Darren Head has recovered to fourth. <coughs> John Scott, as we saw, is in fifth. Sixth is... Uh, Scott Davley, 7th is uh, Rob Oldham. Rob is uh, up into 7th place, overtaking, also overtaking Gonçal Mota after that incident. Gonçal Mota in 8th, ninth is Simon Allen, 10th is Rob Burton, and Dale Taylor is actually not far behind. This is the battle for 10th spot, and Dale finally um, is really not having extraordinary pace, certainly not consistent with his qualifying performance now he's trying to go and uh, get 10 plays from rob burton it seems to me that he may have the job done here into turn one no not quite oh rob is uh, running wide there and uh, has to leave space for um, dale taylor and dale is now up into 10th spot as we enter the closing stages of this race, look at that, almost, uh, oh, and Dell almost losing it, and so does Rob, and Rob actually uh, loses it a little bit, 11th for him, now let's go back to where the action is happening, and that is here, because Kev Allen is starting to be a little bit more under pressure from championship leader Darren Heads, oh, and Darren almost losing it there, at the exit of that corner, and uh, the gap between the two is, uh, well, 1.5 seconds. Just uh, three laps to go at the end of this one. John Scott again, very good performance. The top five position as it stands. Let's look at the lap times for both Kev Allen and... Um, uh, and Darren Head, Kev Allen crosses the line, 149. Darren Head faster, 147.8. The leader is absolutely flying. He's been doing 146 consistently. And Diogo Silva trying to stop Darren Head from four consecutive wins. Uh, could well manage his first win of the season in his second race. Uh, as he was not in uh, round one um, in Sakitu with the four escort of course both races very competitive but both also won by Darren Head look at this the uh, Kev Allen a little bit all over the place there he's trying a little bit too hard and Darren is coming at him quite quickly the gap now is just 1.5 seconds. Two laps to go at the end of this one. Let's search for other battles. There is a big one here. That is Scott Davely under pressure from Rob Oldham. Rob recovering nicely from uh, that incident early on in the race. Where he was trying to go on the inside of George Jesus and then... Uh, George lost it and uh, 
they both went off the track but Rob clearly lost a lot more time now Rob is uh, actually oh look at this the battle Darren Head is really really getting closer to uh, Kev Allen as they now cross the line that second place man George Zouz and now the gap is certainly under 1.5 seconds it is actually under a second as uh, the other battle is uh, very alive indeed with Rob Oldham and look at this Scott Davis going on the inside to protect his position as into turn one Rob Oldham is trying to go on the outside but didn't quite work look at that Rob Oldham is uh, makes a bit of a switcheroo and that was a very good move indeed as Rob is up into sixth and uh, Scott Davley losing a lot of uh, positions again very strong early on but uh, uh, with a bit of bad luck that with that incident with Gonzalo Mota but certainly not going in the direction that he wanted let's look at the battle for third and look at this it's a very active battle for third as Darren Head is actually almost making a move there and uh, the last lap is almost starting oh Cavallo makes a mistake he's making a mistake and here comes Darren Head now they're going to be nose to tail Darren Head is waiting for his opportunity and Cavallo certainly oh and Kev is again off the road and here comes Darren Head and I think he's going to go ahead yes Darren Head is uh, oh Cavallo again outbreaking locking up there begging himself he is uh, trying to recover that position they are going to enter the last lap very soon i believe the leader is already on his last lap look at this there Cavallo is absolutely desperate to try to recover that to third place but now Darren head has a bit of a breathing space george jesus starts the last lap as well that's John Scott in the background and you can see Rob Oldham and uh, Scott Davley coming back at him but the action is here as uh, Darren Head this is not over yet because now look at this nice exit there uh, from turn one by Kev Allen and Kev may have a go on the inside of the next corner he's coming but uh, not uh, close enough but Darren is certainly under huge pressure there from uh, um, Kev Allen the leader Diogo Silva has 16 seconds gap and look at this uh, Kev Allen again oh and Darren now makes a small mistake here comes Kev Allen oh and almost contact there between the two let's see if the leader is uh, almost at the end of the race but we are going to stay tuned with look at this Cavallo now on the inside Cavallo on the inside is is the last lap and uh, the leader is coming to take the checkered flag but this is where the action is Darren Head um, is uh, definitely trying to maintain that position the 99 of Diogo Silva enters the last corner and he's going to win a dominating win for Diogo Silva, his first win of the season, there you go second place man is going to be Jorge Jesus but we are going to focus on what's happening for third place because this is not over yet Darren Head has a few car lengths and it seems to me that he is going to go and finish in third place, yes he is going to finish in third place unless, unless he makes a massive mistake third place is Darren Head, fourth is uh, uh, Kev Allen, fifth is going to be John Scott followed by Rob Oldham in uh, sixth place seventh is going to be um, Scott Davley eighth is going to be Gonzalo Mota ninth is going to be Simon Allen not the race that he wanted after a good performance in race one tenth is going to be Dale Taylor 11th is going to be Rob uh, Burton as he is under pressure from Todd D'Antonio. You see battles through the field in uh, old Fox Racing PlayStation. It seems to me that Rob is going to be able to hold to this 11th spot. And yes, he is uh, at uh, Todd D'Antonio finishes 12th. All the drivers that started the race finished it. This has been a very exciting round of racing with this Nissan GT car 
Very interesting combo. Diogo Silva wins race two, followed by Jorge Jesus and Darren Head. We will shoot you again in round three. Of course, the Labrador Channel will be there to ensure all the coverage of Old Fox Racing PlayStation. Until then, it's goodbye.